Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming and in this video I'm going to go over an auction block that I have coming up. It has a wide range of cards and they're all one penny start. Well, they're supposed to be a penny. I think sometimes when you use the bulk editor, it changes it to 99 cents. But anyways, they're no reserve. I've been getting a lot of questions about that. But some of these cards are really rare and unique. And I'm going to go over the cards from the bottom to the top. So there's about 100 cards or so. Um, we're going to start with some of the ones that I think are of the least interest because... Uh, I think I sorted this by price, so it should get better as we go. Um, but I've got cards like this. I, I was collecting, you know, every Charizard, any card that had Charizard in the name, in the name, I was going for it. And at the time, this was something that PSA, uh, I, I couldn't find it like in their system. So if I could find it in their system, I'd go for BGS or you know whoever I could find that would grade it. So we've got cards like that. This is a phone card. These are all cards that, at the time that I looked at it, they were probably like five bucks or so. Because these are all active. They're ending this Sunday. You can find them through my eBay. So just Google TCA Gaming and it should come up. And these will be an auction ending Sunday the 15th, I believe. It's a checklist card. They didn't have Charizard in the name, but it had it on it. <clears throat> so I was doing all the cameos too. This is the gold version of the shiny tip. Danon Charizard you can kind of tell it's I guess it's more like a rainbow foil but there's also a silver version as well but you can see how the name is gold and I think I've sold the silver version but you stick around to the end you're going to see some pretty cool stuff even cards like this I've got a Portuguese Mega Charizard there's an Italian one <laughs> here's Russian Russian is actually pretty tough to find cards like this I actually expect to do expect to do pretty well the pop-ups are not easy to grade, but this one pulled a 10. Some of these top cards, tops cards, they can be tough to find, especially ones from Series 3. we got the Snorlax there. Here we've got a German Charizard. I, I don't I don't know other languages, by the way. But Glurak, I know what Glurak means. There's the Stickers card and a 10. We've got the Anime Collection, Ash Charizard, Pikachu Chikorita Prism. <laughs> I wonder if it's a different name in PSA's registry. Because sometimes they don't have the same names for cards like that. Got a stick on. There's a sample card. I believe this card was only like 10 bucks or something at the time. But it's a sample card, meaning that it has a Japanese backside. Approximately 100 of these or so were made. I think I saw somewhere where somebody said 200. But the guy that was um, running the shop that actually had these in the sample machine, he told me 100. And he believes that there was roughly like 50 or so in circulation. I wonder if there's supposed to be a space right there. I believe there is. I wonder if that's just like a little, you know, printing error. But anyways, these are pretty tough to find. Um, I collected them for a while. I still have my own personal set of 10 cards. However, they are still very scarce. But um, the price really doesn't reflect how scarce they are. I think because this is a reused artwork. It's a coughing, right? It's a common coughing from Expedition. But at the same time, they are very, very tough to find. I mean, you're talking about like trophy level scarcity. Or well, true rarity. True rarity with those. And they're scarce at the same time. Uh, we also have a, we've got a French Charizard EX. Got a Charizard and Mewtwo. Got the 10 there. Got the Secret Rare. German Charizard. Got a Mega Charizard. That one's in Italian. Got a nice rainbow foil in its first print. You know, its first print. Got that blue tops logo right there. These are almost impossible to find in really good condition now um, because either they've been graded or they were played with or they've been, uh, they were just scratched up. They had cracks in the hollow foil. Because if you pull them out of packs now, most every time you pull rainbow foils out, they, they've, they're sticking to another card, so it's kind of like the No Damage Nine Tails deal, where it's not that bad, but it's tough to pull out of a pack, even though you can find the packs. There's Charizard versus Team Rocket in a 10. This is a nice one here. This is the Silver Foil. It would be really nice if it was the Rainbow Foil. You can see the camera <laughs> right above it. But we have a Lugia Rises. Very good looking card. Got a Blastoise versus Charizard. The 97 Top Sun. Again, all these are really niche, kind of you know, sporadic cards. Got a farewell, but we're going to get to some better ones here. Got Charizard versus Magmar. And guys, if you're wondering what this is, just as a reminder, if you buy anything on my eBay, send me a message and um, I'll donate 10% for the medical expenses for the Rawls. And this is for their daughter. 
Her name is Anna Grace Rawls, and she has Turner Syndrome, and they're trying to pay for some medical expenses. And so if you want to help out with that, you can, of course, donate through this QR code. You can just donate directly there. Just make sure it goes through to the medical expenses for the Rawls. Nice rainbow foil there. Or if you just buy anything from my eBay, including any of these auctions, send me a, a message, add a note. You can even send me an email saying, hey, this is my order number. If you would donate 10% um, of the sale, and I'll donate 10%. That's 10% off the top. I will. It does cap out at $100 per item, but you can stack it as much as you want. Got a Nasui sausage promo. Now, I don't know anything about this release, but I'm trying to think to myself, it says sausage in there. You know, I'm thinking meat. Is this exactly what I think it is? Did, was, was there a sausage sale? And you could get this card if you bought the sausage? I could be I could be way off, but that's what I read. So maybe you guys let me know. I've never looked it up. I guess I could Google it, but it's kind of kind of fun to speculate based off of what I see. Here we have a nice advanced top series Charizard. Tops Challenge. Got a first print silver foil. Of course, this is the silver foil. It's a little bit different than the rainbow foil. Uh, in general, it's less soft, sought after. The only time I could think of that it might not be is if there's a print without the rainbow foil. But I'm not even sure that's, that, that's true. There's a Charizard VMAX. Here's a nice rainbow foil. You can see it's different. It's almost got like a little texture to it. And it does not reflect in the same way. That's a first print. This is one that... I bought a while back for like a thousand bucks or so in auction. Merlin. I, I don't know what this is going to go for now. I mean, you got to think the hype has died down for a lot of stuff. Uh, this is a pretty rare card. I think when I put it up, I, I was at the cheapest at like 2500 But of course, I, I didn't get any bites. So, I mean, it could end at $100. It could end at 1000 It could end at 2000 I really don't know. So, we'll just kind of see. So, before I get start getting into some of the other stuff, I want to show you guys some of the sealed things that I have as well. Put a seal pack of Magmar. There's 25 in each of these packs. There's Machamp, Scyther. This one's very hard to find. I've only got a few of these. I might only have two left, and this might be one of them. I, I, I know I had three originally. And then Snorlax, I've had more of these, but typically I just break these open and grade them because, I mean, even in a 9, in which these almost always grade 9 or 10, uh, even in a 9, I'm bringing like 70 bucks or so per card, and it's pretty cheap to grade. But the 10s do a lot better. The PSA one... I believe I'm asking like 250 on a 10, CDC 200. If you put them in auction, you could probably expect about 75% of that value. Maybe a little less on the CG side. I think I had some auctions as low as 100, but typically brought about 140 in auction. And I have an auction in the PSA ones, but I did grade some of them through PSA, and I sold one at the 250 price tag, I think. But they they fluctuate, but they're always really strong. The Mew, ironically, that one's tougher to find. The the 25 pack sealed of the muse but the tens i don't think actually do as good in price got a few packs got a dragon majesty with the charizard on there here's that Danon charizard again except this is a sealed one this is a sealed seller pack and it pulled the 10 on the seller pack got an unbroken bonds reshiram and charizard gx love that card man <laughs> it was so it was it was it was really nice when that made it into the world championship decks got a first edition base set portuguese booster pack and a 10 then we've got a few nines. Got a, I only have a few of these uh, Gym Heroes and uh, Fossil First Edition packs left. Probably from breaks a, a little while back. But those are being auctioned as well. So we'll see where they go. We'll continue on now. We've got a Charizard. Second print, Silver Foil, and the 10 has got these little bumps on the side or on the surface of it. With uh, the, the, the Pokemon the first movie print, you know, where it has the E6, it goes through E12. There's, a, there's only two versions. There's not five or six different prints like there is in Top Series 1. You've got a blue and a black label. Black label will be the second print. Here we have a rainbow foil. Let's see what print it is because PSA for some reason won't specify between first, second, third, fourth. I'm going to say first. Yeah, blue logo is first. Now this one's pretty cool. It's an error. So it's a rainbow foil second print, but if you look at... Well, I'm trying to show it. You can't see it too well in here, but the texture is actually misaligned. You can see right here where it stops. You might be able to see it. The texture stops right here, so it's shifted down. It's a, it's like a holophile shift, but it's a texture shift. 
So the hollow foil is still on the entire card, but the texture itself, you can see it's missing on the very top right there. All right, next up we have a movie die cut. First or second print? First print. So it's first print die cut in a tin. Here we've got a nice pristine advanced challenge Charizard. I had some pretty good offers on these. I probably should have went with them a little while back, but now they're going to have their chance at getting them for even cheaper. Right here we have a, it's just a pincer from Jungle. Starting to get into some of the good stuff now. We've got a square cut nine tails. I've actually auctioned this one twice. Both times it went for a pretty good price, but the guy ended up backing out. Here we have an Alpha Earthbind. I thought this was like a banned card, but there's a bunch of them listed, so maybe not, and I was just mistaken. But this is one of the few Alpha cards that I have left. Here's a Twisted Miscut for the Ancient Mew. You can kind of see how it's like torqued. Got a corner right there that's kind of squared off, a little bit missing right there. Looks pretty cool. I've got several of these, or I had several of those graded. That might be my last one like that, but I do have some that have, were less of of a less degree twisted that are being graded as well. Ghastly sample. So again, like the coughing, it's got the Japanese back, English front, and actually says sample there in the bottom right. Got a Rockets Hitmonchan. All of those are winter stamp. Has a nice swirl right there in the middle, which means, yeah, there's the partial swirl of the other one. This Jars RDX must be doing pretty good to be in the upper part right here. We've got a Spanish one, so that one's probably already getting close to the price that it should be. All right, we have a Hitmonchan. This one's a winner. Another swirl there, but this one pulled the 10. We've got a pristine Advanced Challenge die cut Charizard. This one is significantly harder to find. This is that Pinch Layer Arcanine. Arcanine. You can see right there, it's got that Pinch Layer that's going through the middle. I don't know. I don't know what to expect from this. You know, the Arcanine in itself has pretty decent value in a 7.5, just being graded in general because uh, you know it, it's it's Aquapolis or not Aquapolis. Yeah, it's Aquapolis and it's a um, it's an RK9. These are the H hollows are pretty tough to find, but then they're easy to find in a 10. So you don't see a huge spike in value in general. There, there might be a few that are pretty tough or tougher than others anyways. But I don't know if this error is going to add much to it or not. We'll just have to see. Uh, here we have that advanced challenge Charizard again, but this one's the foil version. Pulled the pristine 10. Here we've got a square cut Kangaskhan. Pulled the gym at 10. Kangaskhan in general is pretty tough to get a 10. This one's squared off. I had um, I had sent this in with a bunch of other Kangaskhan, Mewtwo's, Gyarados, and Ninetales uh, that I had in a tin, and uh, or not in a tin, that were square, square cut, and uh, only a few come back to tin. I can't remember if those were nine fives and they were crossed or not. Here we have a Charizard unperforated. What? I think there's th there is some that were perforated with the tin, but man, they look real suspect, like like they were trimmed. Um, this right here, you could only get this kind. And you can see, you know, it's got the full borders left and right, so it shouldn't be it shouldn't be a trimmed one. But you could only get those in these little black baggies. I've opened up some of them here on YouTube before, and uh, they're pretty tough. Like I didn't pull any Charizards. It was a lot of Gyarados I think that I pulled. Here we have a Snorlax in a tin. Great looking card. <laughs> Iconic artwork for Snorlax. We've got a no damage or not a no damage, no HP Dark Persian. This one pulled a nine. There is one ten out there. Jim Ed has it. Uh, good luck with that. He's got a swirl at his butt right here. Uh, but there are, nine is, is going to be about you know what you have to go for for this card if you're trying to get this error in the highest grade. Otherwise, go talk to Jim Ed and you're probably going to have to cough up a good bit of money. All right, we have a Dark Charizard in a ten. Uh, I do have a few of these. I don't know why I put so many in the same auction, but there are a few of them. Uh, there's a Crusade card again, another card that I thought was banned, but it, there were some that were listed for sale, so I just threw it in the auction. This one I didn't know that I put in auction, but since it's already started, I'm not going to stop it. But this is uh, my favorite artwork on a Pokemon card, and um, I'm kind of hoping that whoever buys it does not pay so that I can just cancel it and keep it. But it is for sale. It's the first time I've put this card up for sale. It's the Mewtwo match print. See it right there, white back. So we'll see where that goes. Uh, I did sell the Mew off a little while back. Those were my last two, and then so this is my very last one. All right, we have University Magikarp pulled the 10. Very tough card uh, to find. <clears throat> right now, it hasn't gained a lot of traction, so might be a good time to get this card for a decent price. Got another Dark Charizard. This one, again, CGC 10. Got a swirl there above his head. Maybe that's why it's going for a little bit more right now. This card I expect to uh, go for quite a bit. This is a sample Pikachu. I have sold this once in the past. The guy didn't pay. 
And I was like, you know what? At $7,000, I'd really keep it. So I tucked it away in my personal collection. And then I recently come to the realization I'm a bit of a hoarder. I already have a 10, uh, a PSA 10 of this card for the sample Pikachu. So I was like, let's let it go. Let's, <clears throat> and I know there's a few people on IG who have talked to me about wanting to buy this card privately. But I'm going to just make it public. We're going to let it go. If it goes for five thousand, three thousand this time, you know that that that'll be the price for whatever it is. I'm hoping it goes for more, but you know, with the way everything is, you just never know. But again, it's a sample. It's got the uh, the Japanese back, English front. Pikachu is by far the most expensive and hard to find card of the ten card sample set. Next up, we have a Charizard four position only. I have a nine point five already, so. This is an extra. I'm going to let it go. We're going to see what it goes for. I don't know how much uh, to expect that it will bring, but here it is. <laughs> and it's going into auction. Again, all of these are no reserve. We still got a few cards left to go through. Very popular. We've got the Lugia. Gem Mint 10 from Neo Genesis. I think I paid maybe around $2,000. I can't remember. I had it listed for right around the same price, too. So we'll just see where it goes. Uh, I don't have one in a PSA 10 Unlimited, so I would like to get one of those, but I think I do have another Unlimited uh, Lugia in a Gem at 10 on CGC side. This is one of my favorite cards. I chased this thing for a while, but um, again, I, I had it in my collection. I was like, you know, I don't really appreciate this the same way I did before the chase. You guys ever go after something for so long, and then once you get it, you're like, this is really cool. Like I had, you get that high from obtaining the obtaining that item or card or whatever. But you know, after a while, it just kind of fades. And um, while I really do like this card, I think it's very iconic. You know, it says Hawaii right there. <laughs> you know, uh, I think some people call this the ninth lucky stadium. I, I could be wrong on that, but it's bilingual. I want the ex I wanted the executor as well. But when I decided, you know, hey, I'm not actually going to pursue the bilingual executor on the team, the tropical mega battle one at least. Anyways, you know, this one kind of really fell out of a specific spot in my personal collection. So we'll just see what it goes for. A uh, very tough card to come by. Um, I believe forty some were made. If you go to uh, E4, then they it's it's they've got a master's list of all the rarest cards that were ever printed, like officially printed, anyways. And this is on that list. Uh, we've got a few Charizards. I've got a an excellent five. I actually put several of these up. I'm gonna just see you know where they go because I have been selling them slowly in all the grades one through seven. Some of the grades I've already ran out of, but this one is a five. You can see it's got some whitening right across the top, around the edges. Pretty rough five, if you ask me. Uh, we'll see where it goes. Next up, Tropical Wind. Again, another Tropical Mega Battle Prize. 1999, got the Psyduck. This is probably the easiest one that, or the one that seems to be most available for these Tropical Winds, like the Japanese, uh, like the really old Tropical Mega Battle Prize card. So, but this one also pulled a 10. 10 is pretty tough to pull on the card. So, uh, we'll see where it goes. And that was, I think that was the last of the prizes, but we still got a few more cards to go. We got an English Venusaur and a 10. I recently sold this for 5K. The guy was, he was trying to pay, trying to pay, trying to, or at least he was saying that he was trying to pay, but he couldn't get his bank to agree to it uh, because it was a trading card, so he ended up not being able to pay. So uh, this one has been sent to auction, and we'll see where it goes. Good looking card. We have another Charizard, down to a four. The four is going for higher than the five. Let's see if it has anything to do with the back. Well, the back looks pretty similar. <laughs> a lot of the whitening around the edges, you can definitely tell that it is not in the greatest condition. Looks like a thick stamp for the first edition right there. We have another Dark Charizard, this time a PSA 10. And you can see there's a big jump in value from the CGC 10s to the PSA 10 on this one. I just sold one the day that I listed this one for auction. One, I, I believe, sold for $33.90. Somebody was asking me for a discount. And I looked at my price. I had it listed at $3,799.99. $3, and at the time when I listed it, that was the lowest on the market. But I checked, and there was somebody who had won for 3,400. So he wanted it for 3,000. I said, you know, I'll drop to below the uh, below market or below the active market, anyways. So I listed it for 3,399.99, and the guy was like, Nah, I'll do it for 3,000. That seems to be going, the going price. And um, before I could even respond to him, somebody had already picked it up at the active price. So that was pretty cool to see when the price dropped um, to the bottom of the active market. Somebody snapped it up really quickly. So I guess there were other watchers that may have gotten email pushes uh, from eBay. 
Here's a big boy. We got a Charizard near mint seven. This is the highest grade that I do offer in the first edition Charizards. Typically anything higher I keep for my personal collection. And I don't have many of them, but I've got a lot more than the average person. I will say that, and I will continue to hoard those for now because I do like Charizard. And but if you guys have ever seen that video, I had like it was like thirty or forty something. It was a stupid amount of just like first edition Charizards. Most of them were lower grades, but it's like I didn't need all those, right? And then finally, this is the the highest price on a card that's currently going right now we have a first edition charizard in a 10 but this is german so i think i originally paid maybe 20 15 or 20 i do remember we had a video about it because i was worried because there was so much space in that psa case and um, i sent it in to be graded or re reholdered and they confirmed everything uh, last but not least uh, i do have some uncut sheets that are up for sale uh, including like a jungle Holographic Vaporeon Kangaskhan sheet. I do have a Radiant collection, legendary or like a Radiant collection from the Legendary Treasures uh, sheet. It is cut on one side, but it's got like the Pikachu, the Mew EX, and there's a few other sheets as well. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, I realize this is a long video about me showing you stuff saying, hey, I have this for sale, but I thought it, it was pretty cool. I was going to show you guys a video. I'm going to have another video like this come out next week because I've got some other high end cards that are going to be in the eBay marquee auction as well for the month. But any of that stuff you can find in my description. There's a link that takes you directly to my eBay store. Even if you're not buying anything from my store or buying any of these particular items, if you click on that link uh, before you shop on eBay, it actually will give me a kickback if you buy anything. And it doesn't again, it doesn't have to be for me. But anytime you click on that link, it takes you to eBay. It's an affiliate link that will help out and help support the channel and the store. Uh, guys, if you have any questions. If you have any questions about this, the medical expenses for the Rawls and um, AG and medical expenses she has for her Turner syndrome, please ask. But again, if you buy anything, send me a message and I'll donate 10% of the sale price for the medical expenses for them. I appreciate you guys for hanging around this long. Let me know if you did hang around this long because, man, I feel like when I talk this much, it's just like, man, I just I just went through a whirlwind and I'm exhausted afterwards. I don't know how people talk you know, for 40, 50, uh, PK, man, when he gets on there and rants for an hour and a half, like, I don't know how he does that. Um, when I'm opening up packs in a live, it's different. Like, I feel like, you know, I'm, I've got something else that I'm doing with my hands. My mind is on something else, but just talking, that, that can be real tough. So, but I, I appreciate you guys for hanging in there. And if you did, please, again, let me know down there in the description and I'll see you guys in another video soon.